Hey, what is going on guys? It's Cameron here. Welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be sharing with you two of my favorite things for Fortnite. It is lowering your ping to the lowest possible while increasing your frames per second to the maximum possible. Before we jump into all that, if you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on bell notifications. It really does help me out. We are exploding on the channel right now, so really appreciate all the growth and support. So we actually got an affiliate as well for today's video, and it's completely related to today's video. I know you guys hate it when like a YouTuber shares an affiliate and it's completely unrelated. It's like shoe cleaning equipment or something that just doesn't matter. Well today guys, I'm sharing with you no ping. So just a little bit about no ping. It's completely free for a full week. Also, you can subscribe to it. It's only $5.33 a month. It is a pay to win service technically for Fortnite. Cause what it'll do is cut your ping in half. I was getting like 70 ping on average. I'm in the middle between East and, and West. So I get about 70 ping. When I use this service, it actually brought it down halfway. I was getting like 30 ping. It was fantastic. I wouldn't share it with you guys if I haven't tried it out and found that it actually really does work. Especially if you're at a very high ping, I couldn't recommend no ping enough. So you guys can get started for, it's completely free. It doesn't even ask for a, a payment card or anything for the first like three days. If you like it, feel free to add a card and you can subscribe to it. And it's, like I said, it's, it's a dream worker here. Unfortunately, with the state of Fortnite right now, with it all being competitive box fights, even in pub matches, it's important more than ever to have high or low ping because it means people are less likely to take your walls and all this stuff because people have just gotten so good that lowering your ping is super crucial nowadays. So first off, guys, I'm going to share with you guys the best settings. Let's jump right into that. Um, so for settings, you're going to want to make sure first off you have whatever the max frame rate that your monitor can handle up here. Um, also, you're going to want to make sure, just go to your gear, the game tab over here, make sure you're selected on whichever server gives you the best ping. Like I mentioned, I'm between NA East and NA West, and I don't have no ping running in the background, so it's saying I'm going to get like 70 ping, which is not great at all. So <laughs> make sure you're running no ping if you have that software. Um, but with the frame rate, just make sure it's maxed out. Make sure your brightness is like 100%. It, it really will depend on your monitor. If you have like a, a TN panel monitor and it's super low, you'll need to crank that, that thing up. Uh, but yeah, 100 for that. It doesn't really affect your, um, your FPS or lowering your ping. But the uh, blind mode I have is Dutronope just because I think it looks the nicest. And I use a, a Strength 6. Now here's the juicy stuff. This is the stuff that will actually help your FPS the most possible. Um, I usually get around 250 to 400 frames per second, which is well above my 240 hertz refresh rate. Um, and I have an older GPU. My GPU is from 2016. It's over five years old. So I use near for view distance because I just really didn't see any benefit with Epic as my view distance. Um, so I would recommend near for the max FPS. Textures, just set it to low. I've tried higher FPS cause, or textures because some people said it might help. Um, other than that, guys, I have, um, I have performance mode on. Some people don't like right now the current state of performance mode because of the mobile builds look to them. I really don't mind, so I just keep it on performance mode. It's going to max out your, your frames per second um, the best possible if you have performance mode on. You'll want to have V-Sync off just because it does give you a higher frame rate having this off. And then show FPS is just showing your frames. It doesn't really matter at all. But yeah, guys, that's basically it for all these settings. Um, obviously, with resolution, you can tweak this. Some people prefer like um, like the lower 1600 by 900 to get higher frame rates on it that way. But I don't really like, like it because it's a little pixelated for my liking. Um, you can also try the windowed ones if you'd like. All of them are great. Um, I have a video on how to set up um, different resolutions too. I'll put that in the description if you guys want to take a look at that on which other ones I, I recommend. But yeah guys, Windows full screen is what I use. I think it's perfect with that. So that's basically it for your settings as far as ways to um, make sure you have the best settings possible. Alright guys, so for this part this is going to be about how to lower down your ping as much as possible. Basically to give you the fastest connection to the Fortnite servers as possible. So we've covered no ping. Now here's a completely free option. It's with this TCP optimizer, 
What it does is it will basically um, lower down your latency and connectivity from your computer to the Fortnite server. So how it does this is it'll actually um, basically optimize your network. So there'll be a link to this TCP optimizer. It's a free download. Um, everything is reversible, by the way. I'll just show you this setting here. So if you guys don't like any of these settings, you just click on Windows default and apply changes and it reverts all these changes. But once you guys have it downloaded, um, you'll just make sure to right click it and run as administrator. Because if you don't run as admin, it actually won't allow you to change anything. Um, so that's super important. At that point guys, you're just gonna wanna copy these settings, actually have it all laid out. This is from an expert that I, that I found um, doing some research that these settings will actually be the most optimal. His name is Pink on YouTube and he has a lot of really great videos on reducing ping and uh, increasing your, your, uh, your frame rates and stuff like that. So with this one, um, just make sure in connection speed you have it listed as whatever your speed is. This will actually also help um, if you have like a lower speed. So if you're only running like 10 megabits per second, make sure to select that because it'll optimize the, the settings better for you. I use over 100 megabits per second personally. Um, then you just want to copy all these other settings because these will be slightly different. You'll notice each drop down has like three or four options. So uh, yeah, just copy the way this is displayed here. And then after you copy those, that's under the general settings, you're going to go to advanced settings and just do the exact same thing. Just copy all this here. Um, it should be pretty, pretty straightforward and uh, pretty simplistic. After you get all these numbers in here, all you have to do then is just hit apply. Um, it'll show no change because I already had all these settings. So you just click OK. And basically it's applying it. It'll say this here. Would you like to reboot now to apply these changes? Hit yes, it'll have to restart your computer. This is because you have to go off the grid for a sec for it to actually apply everything that it's doing with your network and your computer. Now, like I mentioned, if this actually hinders your performance at all, it shouldn't with your ping, no problem. Just click the Windows default, apply changes, and then reboot as well. Hopefully at that point, once you actually test it and you get the game loaded back up, your game is running way faster at a much higher um, speed and connectivity with a lower ping. So going back to um, improving your FPS, there is actually a little tip that everybody basically knows about this by now, but if you don't, there's a way to actually reset the caches and cookies stored in your Fortnite game. Um, once you click this magnifying glass, basically you'll just type in percent sign local app data percent sign, whoops. And it'll find this little folder here and you're just gonna open it. At that point, we just need to scroll down here until we find Fortnite game. You won't actually have this Fortnite game with a three. That was because I did this earlier. I'll just delete that so it shows what you guys have. On Fortnite game, all you have to do actually to reset your caches and cookies is just rename it. Um, so all, all I do and all you are required to do is just change one character. So I'm just going to add nine. Um, you can add any letter or character after it. But after you do that, what this effectively does is re-index the display settings in your Fortnite game. It doesn't reset anything besides your display settings. So don't worry about like if you're gonna lose keybinds or anything else that's saved. Um, at that point, just reload it. And that actually has been known to increase people's FPS by up to like 25% just doing that, especially if you haven't done that at all over the course of all of Fortnite. So highly recommend that stuff. So here's actually a really cool second step you guys can do to increase your FPS. And this is gonna be through the Nvidia control panel. If you guys aren't running Nvidia, the odds are you have AMD. Um, I don't have AMD, so I can't show you that on this computer, but I'll have a link in the description to the best game optimizing settings for AMD control panel. It's really similar, except it just has a different layout. So go ahead and check that link um, in the description now if you want to, um, you know, make sure your control panel has the best settings. But anyways, you're just going to open up the NVIDIA control panel. First thing you want to do is just go to this top option up here under 3D settings. It says adjust image settings with preview. So when you click that, um, basically it'll show this here. This is for when it, when you make changes to uh, image and rendering settings in your default settings for hardware accelerated 3D applications. 
So this means like games that have 3D objects like Fortnite will um, will be optimized here. So normally by default, you're on let the 3D application decide. You need to choose use my preference emphasizing. Once you have that selected, it's in the middle, I think. Um, just make sure it's all the way on the left on performance. You can, uh, you can go either way. Quality will emphasize having like it'll look better, but we want to sacrifice a little bit of those textures and effects for performance. It'll increase your FPS that way. So once you do that, just hit apply. So next guys, we're going to select manage 3D settings here. It's the second option. In this middle box, scroll down until you see low latency mode. Now by default, everybody has this on off. Um, you actually want to switch this to on because the lower the latency, the better. This is what it, it basically is the mode that um, talks to your CPU, talks to your GPU in layman's terms, and it tells it you know when to refresh, and that's how it creates a frame. Well, this makes it faster, so make sure low latency mode is on. Um, you'll see an option here. It says power management mode, and I have it on prefer maximum performance. That's best for increasing FPS. Although there is optimal power, I think that's what it's by default. Make sure to switch that to prefer maximum performance. So the last setting I want to talk about is texture filtering quality. Um, this by default, I think is on quality. So you need to switch that to high performance. So you want the best performance possible for your graphics card rather than quality. Because with sacrificing a little bit of quality that your graphics card is capable of for the best and highest frame rate possible. So once you do all that, just hit apply and you're good to go. That's everything that you need to do to increase your FPS. Um, the other thing you might want to take a look at is to make sure you have your proper refresh rate selected for each of your monitors, which is under change resolution here. So make sure it shows 60 for your 60 hertz monitor and 240 hertz for your 240 hertz monitor if you have those monitors. So yeah, guys, that's basically it for these display settings. Lastly, guys, for another tip on lowering your ping, um, just make sure if at all possible you have an ethernet plugged in. I know this is a super simple step, but it's something a lot of people skip over because Wi-Fi is just easier. But when you actually plug in an ethernet, it'll automatically by default give you the best connection possible to your servers. It reduces all that delay time from over the air travel that your Wi-Fi frequency travels to your router to send a signal. So it's just always preferred if you can to use an ethernet cable. But that's it guys. I hope these settings helped you guys out, these tips. And uh, I love making these videos, trying to help you guys just make sure your games are optimal and running the best possible. But guys, you guys are amazing people and I just really love being part of this community. It's been really fun making all these videos. It's been Cameron guys, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.